All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buff. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out. Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Ready? Ready? Let's go, guys. All right, fight. so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighters. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. You can't take too many of those big elbows. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, 
box. Straight right, he misses. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, nice right hand. Kick lands for him there. Joy gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Nice straight punch. Nice straight right, Lance. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Beautiful kick. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Liver Back kick. and forth we go here! A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Dig and kick. Clint position. Beautiful elbow over the top. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Slips the punch nicely there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Caught that kick there. Great punch. Just a slip there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. What a tricky head kick. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Effective punch there by Choi. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Choi. Whiffs on that offering. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch land. Ooh. Very nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. That right hand hurt him a little bit. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, huge block! Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he holds his punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Nice leg kick. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. He landed that punch flush. Big body kick. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just misses with a left hook there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Lands flush with that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. What a baller, though. Wow. Straight punch lands. Single collar tie now. Big leg kick land. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yes, yeah, a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Choi. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick lands. Oh, a little single collar tie there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses with the left hook. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job. Side to side. Really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Spinning back fist. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Takedown defense holds up. Twenty seconds to go. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Short. Continues to mix it up, going with the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. 
That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. That last round's over. He took his best shots. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when two very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Good punch lands. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Beautiful strike. Unable to connect with the right hook. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Right punches there. Pretty significant well to the left side. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Big kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. Real sneaky body kick. Good punch. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blast the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big kick lands. Choice kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nice punch by Choi. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, single collar tie now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, not sure. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Vicious combo there! Straight right. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice punch there. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. How good is that right hand? 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right hand on point. Got the single collar tie. Good stick. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, big shot lands. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Some real power shots here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, big punch land. Oh, collar tie. And they step it. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch the look like... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Choice has got a full mount now. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. decision it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he